I'm Kate. I was looking at your name page and I thought, how do you pronounce that? Yeah. I know, I get a lot of confusion. It's, um, <laughs> it's Scottish Gaelic, right. but then um, people call me C a lot. What's your name? Uh, my name is Lillian. Lillian, oh, yes. it's nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you too. Where do you yeah. work here? I work here in infection control. Uh, oh dear. And I've worked in the organisation since 2003. Good, so where did you start when you first came? Uh, when I first started working here at Guys and St Thomas's, I, I joined the recovery. Uh, for both guys and St. Thomas's, mm -hmm. but I was mainly based at uh, St. Thomas's mm -hmm. Hospital. Yes. That's good. Were you newly qualified when you started recovery or had you been a nurse elsewhere? Not really. Yeah. Uh, I think quite a lot of people, you know, are, are scared to go straight into recovery or critical care because mm -hmm. after qualifying. But actually, no, it was from qualifying that I went straight into recovery. Oh, all time. <laughs> and the <laughs> amount of support that we got then was mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Everyone made us feel so welcome. We got the induction package, which was very, very cute. And, and we felt confident from mm -hmm. then on. And, and I have to say, when I started, I never thought I was going to look after ventilated patients. Yeah, of course. Because I was so <laughs> scared. But, you know, the amount of support really kind of, you know, made me to feel so natural about it yeah, at the end of, of the day. So it was a really good experience working in recovery at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after that, of course, when you, when you, you know, start your nursing, you have to think about developing opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I then did a few courses to uh, uh, solidify my recovery skills mm -hmm. and also uh, did my uh, intensive care course. Mm -hmm. where I had the opportunity to move to uh, critical care units uh, at St. Thomas's where I also got very valuable experience and the support was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of, you know, then equipped me to uh, move into infection control afterwards uh, where I have gained unbelievable experience. Really? I mean, so you seem to have had a really nice um, progress through your career. You seem so positive about it. I'm very That's positive really nice. and, and I think for me uh, if you've got that passion for patient safety and experience mm -hmm. you know you can really do well in your nursing uh, mm -hmm. because you will have challenges along the way but you know if you just focus on patient safety mm -hmm. you will enjoy your job and, and I kind of feel like naturally I'm just a nurse. <laughs> Yeah, of yeah. So, so I've really enjoyed, you know, what I've been doing, and I'm still enjoying it, and yeah. I hope to continue. I can see that with a grin on your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? So, how is it like, you know, kind of, you know, coming from uh, college, and you know, now you are newly qualified? Yeah, no. Um, how does it feel? It was, it was very good actually. I was terrified coming down from Scotland, and um, it was all paper based in Scotland, and I didn't know the first thing about all the computers or um, they've, all the different uh, members of the team all had different names. Like mm -hmm. we didn't have oh, all sorts of things. Anyway, I was very confused all around, but it was, everyone was absolutely amazing. I did that rotation course, you know, the um, grad rotation. So I went to four areas within the trust okay. in my first year. Um, Which four areas did I you was go in, to? Um, GI and then I went three months in district nursing. So. Um, We'll see guys in St Thomas have um, places all around the, mm. uh, the area and then that was quite scary as well because I didn't know where we were in London mm. but it was very good, it was good and then I went to Mark Ward which is Stoke Rehab mm. and mm. then um, I'm now in the Lane Fox unit so it's mm. the um, respiratory high dependency so mm. um, that's very good and I can see quite similarities between us starting because I've just finished my um, critical care course mm, um, mm. and it was good yet everyone's been so supportive like you mm. said I was um, I thought oh my gosh am I ever going to look after these patients they're so sick they've got so much going on mm. but you learn so well and the trust really um, provides you with everything you need to know like mm. they give you so many um, study days and um, courses and uh, members of the team coming in and teaching mm. um, so it's been very good and um, mm. yeah I've learned a lot a lot more than I thought I'd learn so it's been good. It's been very yeah. good. Yeah. It's, it's really good about yeah. this organisation, the fact that you are allowed to develop yourself. So it's very good that you've actually gone to different areas, you know, to solidify your skills. And, you know, I, I'm sure your, your future is very bright and I'm very, <laughs> very happy. No, about it has that. been good. It's yeah, been very good. Absolutely. But, um, it has it changed a lot from when you started and where you are now. Has the trust changed or the practice of nursing, has that changed much? 
I have to say, you know, a lot has changed, um, especially around, you know, how we do our documentation. We used to use paper forms. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, e-noting. Um, and, you know, for me, in terms of patient safety, I think the drive has even been, you know, uh, more intense over the years mm -hmm. and then certainly you know looking at compassionate care uh, with films like the Barbara story you know oh, where yes, actually you know stuff we're yeah. being reminded to well mm -hmm. we are here to care for patients mm -hmm. and be compassionate that was really 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 useful for stuff and in in because I go around the different areas, mm -hmm. you know, you, you could actually feel, you know, the difference, you know, mm -hmm. in nursing teams and their approach to nursing. Mm -hmm. So, so a few things, you know, have changed, like mm -hmm. I said, or a lot. Uh, but you know, the the main aim really, the nursing core mm -hmm. of nursing, you know, it's it's been consistent throughout. Yeah, of course. It. And, and of yeah. course, we, we've got fantastic leadership at Guys mm -hmm. in St. Thomas's as yeah. well. It's really, really been positive uh, uh, over the years here yeah, at mm -hmm. Guys in St. Thomas's. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to more. That's nice. See, it's a very positive trust all round. Um, I thought because it was so large, it's in the middle of London, that I'd never get to know anybody. And But I walk through the corridors and I know like porters and kitchen assistants and nurses from other wards. And everyone has been so nice. It's been lovely. It's such a nice trust to work for. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, you know, whoever you are, whatever role you've got in the mm -hmm. organisation, you are all very important. So so it's quite nice to see yeah, everyone working together so and being nice yeah, to each other definitely. and valuing each other. Yeah. Well, it was so nice to meet you. You yeah. know where I am. So if you need support with any of your career development, you know where I am. And I'll be oh, quite that's happy lovely. to you know, I might be involved. Do. Okay, thank you so all much. Right. Yeah.